11 weeks ago we were talking about preparations for Stoke City but uh, yeah now it's all about uh, kind of getting back to normality it's a, it's a totally different world isn't it now? Yeah, it, it seems to be that way. It seems like an eternity since we were back in those days and uh, a lot of stuff has happened in, in, in between. But I just sense, uh, you know, it's light at the end of the tunnel, you, you know, that, that um, the protocols are in place. I know um, the Premier League are pushing ahead with things and, and, and the EFL, you know, we, we're not far behind them, if at all, you know. And it's just getting the grips from, from our point of view with the players of putting the right uh, structure in place for them and, and, and keeping it, uh, trying to keep it different in terms of the coaching and the way they prepared every day. You know, we, we, it seems to be changing so fast. One minute you, we had, you know, single players on their own there working under supervision. And now we're gradually getting back in groups of four and five. And and please God, soon enough, we'll be getting back into 11 v 11 situations. But um, yeah, as I say, just when you think we're at a certain stage, it seems to be 48 hours later, things are just starting to change and, and, and move forward a bit more. So hopefully it continues, all, all, always with uh, one eye on you know, the virus itself and, and how that's how people are adapting to that. But um, yeah, more and more, we, we, we're getting more and more hopeful of the season recommencing and getting back to what these guys do best anyway. And when you've been in the game a long time, as you have, and, and some of your coaching staff too, when I mean, you've got plenty of experience, not of, of this directly, but you can call on that experience, can't you, to kind of like make sure that you kind of help guide a lot of young lads through uh, through a, a very unusual situation. Yeah, it's trying to keep them engaged, the players, and, and trying to get variety for them. You know, they're all having to put up with different scenarios in, in, in their training. So if you can get variety into them, and, and I know obviously I've spoken in the past about Eddie Nizveski, is, uh, I mean, he's been coaching for God, well past 30 years now, and he's got his own little little Bible of, of drills and things that he does that we were constantly referring to. So, again, it's it's keeping the, trying to keep the players engaged in their work and keeping it different every day, not not to get them into a, a stale mentality, really. And, and so, tell us a little bit about what this week in particular has been like then in training. We've heard all about kind of you know no contact at the moment and, and, and that kind of stuff. So, what, what's actually been the, the kind of uh, well, the, the process? Well, we've had we've had players coming in probably over the last two or three weeks. You know, we, we offered them the. the the chance of coming to what we call a safe environment if they couldn't do it at home or in the local park. So they've been coming in as individuals in that time and working really hard under our supervision, if you like. But certainly this week now it's kicked on into groups of uh, fours and fives. Obviously no contact. So again, that that, that gives you, uh, as, as coaches, gives you a, a problem as well to keep that variety there that I talked about. But uh, no, it, it, it's nice to see like a back four working together, getting back into the, uh, you know, those those routines that they, 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 they're well accustomed to but they haven't done for, for sort of eight, nine weeks. So it's this week it's been about getting, making sure the groups are right, the strikers, the midfielders and the defenders working together and uh, and it's gone quite quick and, and well. You know, the, the players have worked hard, we're conscious. It's not just going straight into ball work, we've actually making them work hard with it as well to keep their fitness levels up and keep them progressing. And it's, it's obviously been mentally challenging for the players. What have you made from the way they've come back into the group and the way they've approached training, what have you made about their mentality? Well, I can only speak for my players. The way that the lads have come back, it has been a real, I sense has been a real edge to them, a real buzz about the place. You know, they've they been probably sat at home for far too long and they're all getting a little bit of excitement. Always lots of questions, you know, some, some I can answer, some I can't. When, you know, when, when the thing's going to progress, when are we going to get playing again, which is still the, the big question out there. But uh, again, what I've seen when they're coming in, they're really, They've got an aptitude for hard work. They're excited about the prospect of getting back to to to, to playing again, and, and that's that's the key thing for us. Yeah, that's the, the next step, hopefully. And uh, oh yeah, a few leagues are back. K League was back a long time ago. The Bundesliga has been back on the last couple of weeks. Have you been watching those games in those eerie atmospheres? Yeah, I cer certainly have. And again, it, it it's it's a different mentality for players, you know. And no doubt, some players thrive under tense and, and situations in the game created by the fans, which they're not going to have. And it is when, when we've said we said that when we do start back, it's the physical situation of, of playing again in the summer months that they're not used to. You know, in, in the middle of July, perhaps or sorry June, and uh, and the the problems that, that causes with the heat and whatever. But also it's the the mentality of turning up at stadiums with no fans as well. So it's going to put different demands on players mentally. So you know the lads have got to be prepared for that as well as the physical attributes. Mm. And lastly, Mark, I think. You probably miss having those fans in the stadium, and a, a lot of them. It's been talked about a lot over, you know, over the last few weeks and months about the 
what regular people have been have been doing really the kind of heroes in these situations and stuff so it'd be nice when we can finally welcome the, those groups in key workers and the rest of it back to the stadium yeah i mean that, that's massive for fans i mean you know we talk about first things first i said right from the beginning that you know football's a national game and it, it's I, th I think football can heal the nation a little bit you know and when you get some sort of normality back in your lives with you know, the ones that are allowed to go back to work the ones who still got jobs to go to you know we, we, we're very mindful of that but you know, if we can give them some sort of release by playing games again and having Reading supporters watching their games on the television as well, then uh, that's going to be an added bonus to things.